Before we start the video, I'd just like to say that we started a Make Me a Coffee uh, site. People who want to tip us and want to buy us a slice of pizza, you know, we, we don't mind. You're giving pizza. Yeah. You can go choose one slice, three slice, five slice, whatever slice, and so you can say something nice to us. Or just say a whole bunch of insults. We don't mind. <laughs> and if you don't want to buy us a pizza, that's fine. I can let Delta starve. No! Now on to the video. Lance Gamer Alpha here. And we're going to be um, talk about Heroic Game Launcher again. As you know, EA Games is now on Epic Games. You could buy the F you could buy the EA Games on Epic and you could possibly play on them. And of course, you know if you know about Heroic, Heroic is one of those launchers where you could play Epic Games, um, GOG Games, and for some stupid reason, an um, Amazon Games. Don't ask why, but you can. Now, you may think this is a great idea, but if you know EA, they always make things more difficult than it should be. And how they do, like, if you ever played an EA game on Steam, you download the game. The game is downloaded, it's installed, right? Then when you try to play on Steam, the EA app pops up, verifies the stupid file, and then it just sits there in the corner, like your boss, just staring at you in a creepy way, just staring there, not doing anything, just stares at you while well, you're just doing all the work, just stares at you in a creepy way. Well, Heroic is kind of getting to that was same thing, but it was really ridiculous thing, really ridiculous twist. And I'm going to show you in just a moment. Um, but any criticism that I do right now, I'm just going to note this, it's not on the Heroic Launcher. It's on EA. EA does this. EA doesn't make something that should be simple enough. It wants to expand to other platforms, yet it just still has to grab on or something like that. It's so weird. Heroic did everything it could to make this compatible enough, and it was the, probably the best they could do, and it probably works like, probably the same way with the EA app. But Heroic, a uh, uh, launcher is a hell of a lot better than the e uh, than the um, the Epic launcher, and if you tell your Windows people to go over and you know uh, download and try it out, it is open source. It does run on Windows. It also runs on Linux. You could try it out. It works great. All you have to do is log in, and it works great. Now. I'm going to do with the APAC Legend. This one's also a um, epic game. I checked that out. And of course, you do the simple thing. And if you notice, it installed very fast. You notice any kind of games that installed like 30 seconds? Not even 10 seconds? That was fast. There's a reason for it. Let's hit the play and see what happens. Yeah, that just does something. And guess what? It does the EA customization thing, the app. And it's download. Are you installing the app again? I just installed it. You're, you're installing it twice? You are not doing that. You are doing that. You are literally doing that. So I have to install the app separate times for each game? Why?
Why would you design that? It just installed it. It probably already logged in automatically because I already put my password in. You can see the EA right here in the corner right there. And it brings up the app. And now it's going to install. See this? This should not do that. You installed it twice. Oh, no, 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 no. Just. Yeah, next. Whatever. No, I cancel. No, because I, I already proved my point. And then just close out the exit thing right here. That's so stupid. EA, why you do this? Why do you do this, EA? But it does work. This is what, what it should do when you have something completely installed. It shouldn't do whatever the hell APAC did. It should do something like this. You click on that. It opens the app. On the corner someplace. It takes a couple seconds, but what do you expect for something that's kind of a second app that just pops right off? And then the game should start. Eventually. I know it's it I don't know why it takes so forever, but it what should start. But this makes this is the... EA makes it so stupid. Yes, I did the, the Sims because it's free to play. I didn't want to pay for a game I was never going to use. But still, the point is this. Why? Why do this? Why... Out. Yeah, exit. I don't want to talk about that. So this is so ridiculous. And there it goes. And close both of them out. It's fine. I don't really care. It's so stupid. But this makes no sense. I'm not epic. Uh, the heroic launcher did the poly did the best it could. This should never should never happen at all. EA hates open source. EA um, always screws up their launcher on any game on another platform. Why don't you just stick with just your one app and say, Hey, please leave us alone. We don't want to go on these other um, platforms, please. Because that's where you're trying to tell people. Oh. But it works, and I understand, and let's face it, hold on, I'm just going to, I understand why people would use this, because you get, they, they usually do a lot of free games, like, are they doing any free games? Yeah. See, they're doing free games like that. So if they have an ep, uh, an EA game for free, you could probably use that, and then you can use the Heroic Launcher. But I feel like it's not worth it. Because even though it does run really good, do you really want multiple launchers opening at once? You shouldn't have to do that. The... Other launches should only happen if you have, I don't know, something that would, um, kind of like a free-to-play game kind of thing. You have to customize it or open up a menu thing to adjust the graphics because you should be able to do that until you put the game in because sometimes higher graphics could go so crash your computer or crash the game and you have to lower it and you can't do it. But... This should never have happened. Oh, you got Fortnite. Oh, no, that's no, Fortnite. All right. But I finally show you that. A quick little video of how stupid this is. And, well, if you 
like EA Games, you can now do it on Heroic. Simple as that. Um, but I wouldn't recommend it. Yeah. I'm the Lance Gamer Alpha. Um, I'll see you in the next video. Like and subscribe. And I'll see you next time. Uh, goodbye.